Good morning, ladies and gents. It's Hills from Discuss Things, and welcome to Coffee Thoughts. You see the title. You see what I am about to talk. Uh, <laughs> you see what I'm going to talk about. Yeah, I'm very sleepy. Sorry, it's Monday. Now, I had this thought for um, already two days because this happened two days ago. Uh, why? Why? Uh, why? Why do? Why do you have to kill people? Uh, this is. Look, I, <laughs> this is going to be a weird one, by the way, because I'm very much struggling to find the words. I've been alive in this pla on this planet for almost 26 years. I've been conscious enough to ask questions since I was eight years old. One of my first questions that I ever asked is. Why do we kill people? Why? For food? No, that's what cannibals do. Not everyone is a cannibal. For... Like, population control? No, because if it was population control, there would be millions of dead in a day. For other reasons? Fun? What is the fun in that? What's the fun of killing a person? And then I, it occurred to me. I, I, I got to the answer myself. We enjoy violence. We are a savage tribe of slightly evolved monkeys that enjoys violence. And, in, and this tribe, which we are a part of, enjoys making tools that help bring the violence to the next level. We make guns, we make bombs, we make rockets, we make tanks, we make soldiers that are fucking the head and they can fire and fucking tore up your legs with a fucking bullet. But we don't, we don't invest that much in reconstructive surgery, in bionics in artificial uh, limbs or organs for survivors. No, who thinks that? Who, who wants that? No, we want war. We want someone to die. We want to go fucking stomp someone, put the gun in his mouth, shoot and blow his brains out. This is what entertains us. And when people are entertained, they're happy. And when they're happy, they vote for whoever they're told. And this is again, this is, sorry, I'm getting too political, but this, the, the thing in Orlando, I don't know what the reason behind this man's action was, but it was clearly thought out, planned, it wasn't spontaneous. So he killed a lot of people and made half of the world angry because of, at him, at his race, at everything. And now something else is going to happen while they are enraged. This is what happens all the time. And those are innocent people. Those are fucking innocent people, man. They're not soldiers. They're not enemies. They're spreading love. They're fucking free. And they love each other. They're not hateful. They don't hate you. They just love each other and want to be a part of society. And let me just explain, I am not against LGBT, I am not pro-LGBT, I am not against uh, black people, I am not pro-black people, I am pro-humans, humanity and everything and people, because if you take a black person, a gay person, a Chinese person, an Aboriginal, an old lady, a young child, and everything, and you test them, you find that there is at least one similarity. You know what it is? That similarity, my friends, is their DNA. We have the same DNA. We're humans, all of us. So, why do we kill each other? Why do we say we're different? We're not. This is my resolution. If you can't accept another human being as a human being just because he has or she has or whatever 
different opinions, dif a different opinion on a portion of life that doesn't concern you at all, and you become violent against it, you're not a human being. You're part of those monkeys that I just mentioned that are slightly evolved and enjoy violence. As for us, for me, and for a lot of people, humans, we don't enjoy that, and we condemn that, and we love other people. We don't hate them. So, my message is, fucking stop killing each other. Fucking stop killing other humans. Fucking stop with all the violence. It's not worth it. It's never, never worth it. This is here from Discuss Things. Welcome to my channel. If you're a first comer, thank you for watching my clip. If you want to join, subscribe, follow me on Twitter and everything. And I'll see you guys in the next clip. Stay fresh and stay lovable. Cheers.